Hello, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. Today I am going to share another dream with you guys, and this one was pretty interesting, mainly because of the visual, like I can't, cannot even really describe in words the visual. It was actually rather disturbing, the visual, to be honest, but this particular dream was... Um, the doubling of a dream. So uh, it is mentioned in scripture that um, that if a dream is doubled, it is fixed by God. And when that happens, uh, with, and it's happened a number of times where I've had the doubling or like a tr uh, the same theme over a series of like three dreams in one night, sometimes the dreams come at different points but um, they are adumbrations of things to come. So they are fixed by God. So in this particular dream, which I had on September 26th of 2020, I fused with a crab or rather a crab fused with me. So it's quite difficult really to explain like the visual of it. But again, it was just like within the dream as it was happening and me, even though it was happening to me, I could visually like see my entire self in this crab. And it was, <laughs> I, I remember thinking in the dream, this is so, this is so weird. It's just, this is a weird visual. It's disturbing. So anyway, uh, I don't remember where I was, but I was standing up and this very large crab climbed into my body from behind so from the lower half of my body it like just I don't know if it just kind of melted into me I had the feeling though it kind of climbed into my body from behind somehow but anyway it ended up fusing with me and uh, I noticed that and I'm looking down at my notes that part of its body was sticking me so I could see part of it protruding from the front of my body like its claws and stuff and part of it protruding from my backside so the uh, part of its shell pursued um, like from below my torso so like in the groin region in the front and in the back so it's like it had entered my my bottom and was just sticking out of me on both sides. Again, it's a really weird visual. So I reached behind me to try to pull it out. And then in front of me, I tried to break its claws off, uh, but I wasn't able to remove it. I was completely fused with this very large crab. And I remember feeling very strange within the dream uh, the way the the crab fused with me, it just it felt very invasive, really. And then after a few seconds, within the dream, I realized I became aware. Number one, how strange the dream was, and it was evident to me that wait a second, I've never had dreams about crabs before. I've had dreams about snakes. I've had dreams about bees, uh, dreams about zombies and vampires. S uh, did I mention snakes? Snakes? Never crabs. So at first I wasn't really sure like what the significance of the crab itself was. But I knew that the fusion was significant. Um, Neville Goddard talks about one of his experiences about uh, uh, the golden serpent, okay, and realizing that and seeing a golden liquid light and fusing with that golden liquid light, becoming the golden serpent and uh, ascending into the skull. So that that was my first thought when I thought about the crab that that the fusion was significant as um, it correlated with 
an experience that Neville had had as far as fusing with the serpent and ascending into the skull um, or Jerusalem. Okay, so I woke up at 3.20 a.m. and I contemplated how odd the dream was. So then, sorry, I had to scroll down, look at my notes. As I was contemplating the dream, the thought of one body and being merged or fused came to mind. Um, and that's when I thought about the golden serpent. And then as I sat down to tr transcribe the dream from my dream journal into uh, a document for my blog post, I realized that this was actually the doubling of a dream because I previously have, or I don't remember the exact date, but I actually just wrote a blog post on a dream I had about a golden serpent. So I realized between these two dreams that this was really the doubling of a dream. And again, I'd have to go back and look at my notes. So I don't remember if I had this dream first or the dream of the golden serpent first. But given the significance of the fusing uh, and becoming one body in this dream, I realized as I was writing it down, the thought just came to me that, wait, this is actually the doubling of a dream. So, which means it's fixed by God. So this experience um, of this portion of scripture unfolding within, within me, uh, within anybody who reaches that point, you know, of, of awakening and having these experiences, it's an adumbration. So as I've said in previous posts, um, I'm pretty excited about this experiences that are yet to come. I don't, you know, it says in the Bible, we never know, or we don't know the day, the day or the time, whatever the exact verse is, but I'm excited. I've had enough experiences now to know that they're significant. So I, you know, I don't know the time uh, that, you know, everything is going to unfold in me, but these are my experiences. I know them to be true. I know the revelations that come to me, the thoughts that come to me when I have these dreams, uh, if they do. And, um, I, yeah, I'm just excited. So anyway, that was the dream that I had about fusing with a crab. And I tell you what, if I would, <laughs> if I could draw some of these pictures, that would be, that would be incredible. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm not really an artist, but it would be actually kind of cool if I could write or draw some of these pictures. That would be, that would pr be pretty, it would be interesting and probably a little bit bizarre and maybe even comical at the same time. So, all right, that is the end of this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. And feel free to share some of your experiences, some of your dreams, things like that. If you have dreams that you think may be significant in some way, but you're not really sure, uh, feel free to leave those down below. You can reach out to me via email if you want as well. I There have been a few times that I have been able to, somebody has told me about their dream and I've instinctively known what the symbolism was in their dream. It doesn't happen all the time. Uh, it is just every, you know, sometimes it'll come to me, sometimes it won't. I'm not gonna pretend if I don't receive insight uh, on a particular dream, either my dream or somebody else's. But if you have a question, if you wanna share something feel free to do so and if something comes to me and if it does it's all it's all from god it's all revelation based on my experiences i don't try to force any meaning or anything like that i think in the beginning when i started recording them i would always look up like what's i thought something meant and i've since realized you can't force anything um if it's meant to come to you it will come to you if if god wants to reveal the symbolism it will be revealed so yeah feel free to share some of your experiences below all right thank you so much again subscribe hit thumbs up don't forget there 
is a link to the dream journals in the description box below. And I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.